Uh, thanks for staying with us. Now, there's nothing uh, that gets rid of those Monday blues quite like a delicious burger. And Fiona Stondren from Fiona's Food for Life joins me now to show us how to make a burger which is good for you. Yes, it's a turkey burger. And we're putting in beetroot, hummus, and that's on the menu also, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah, okay, good it, morning exactly. to you. Great, good morning. So, healthy turkey burgers. Yes, yeah, so we've got our minced turkey here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add in some grated courgettes. So we're getting some of our extra vegetables in, but it's also going to keep it nice and moist. Okay. Then we're adding in our chopped scallions. We have lots of herbs. That's what's going to give it a really nice flavour. So I've got chopped coriander and mint here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add an egg in to bind it together. And then we're going to add some spices to give it a nice bit of a kick. So we've okay. got cumin. Right. Or anything that you might have in the cupboard, really. Uh, yeah, I yeah, suppose, suppose, yeah. Suppose. Yeah, and we're adding in some cayenne. Of course, we've got some nice garlic. Yeah. And some pepper and salt. Then, then that, that all gets mushed together. Yeah, it's messy. You've got to get your hands into this one. That's why Children would love this. Egg. Exactly. <laughs> so we're just going to mix it all together. And while we're mixing that together, I have the pan on there with a little bit of coconut oil heating. Now, do you use coconut oil all the time? I, do, I tend to use coconut oil or olive oil. They would be my right. two oils of choice mm. that I would use. And why coconut oil this morning? Just... No preference, really, no, just because no, of... No, and it doesn't give a huge amount of flavour onto it. A lot of times people find that it does, but I've, you know, mm. I find it works really well. So we're, we're putting them... We're going to serve about three burgers per person. So we're putting them to about golf ball size, okay. about 45 grams. And we're just going to put them on the pan. We're going to get them lightly golden on the pan, and then we're going to pop them into the oven so they're not going to dry out. OK. And the whole dish can be cooked quite now, you quickly. Were, you were down in Ballymaloo for many years. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so I did the training there, and then... I worked as a chef under Rory in Ballymaloo House. Mm -hmm. But now I'm um, doing lots of live cookery demos. So if you check out my website, you can book into loads of different types of demos that I and do. And what's your website? Fiona'sFoodForLife.ie. Very good. And you do them from your home? I do them from my home, but also if I have groups or companies that I would go into, I go in and you set up the whole kitchen the and, whole and do it all out. from there. Yeah. And you, went, you moved to Australia as well? I did, yeah. I spent where, eight where, years where in Australia. Where were you down in Australia? In Sydney. In Sydney? Yeah, yeah. Very lovely. different lifestyle down it there. It is indeed. It Very. is, but it's, uh, it's great and I loved all the influence of all the food over there and, you know, it, it was really, really great. Now, what are you making with the burgers? OK, so what we're going to do is, after the burgers, we're going to cook off some kale and some fennel. So kale's lovely Irish in season. Mm -hmm. um, and then our fennel. And then we're going to make some beetroot hummus with roast beetroot that we're going to, to put on top. OK. So once these have a little bit of colour like that, we're just going to turn them over. And I suppose you're talking healthy here because you have two small children and obviously you want to try and give them healthy food all the time. Exactly, yeah. And I, I'm also very much involved in getting the kids, believe in getting the kids involved and talking to them about the food and about the nutrients of the food. And if you have this, there's lots of protein that's going to make you stronger and do your sports all faster right. and concentrate at and work. And give them and, that yeah. little bit of initiative and sort exactly. of going, oh, you eat this now, you're going to be stronger to play your football, to do exactly. your stuff. Exactly. Right. So once you have a little bit of colour on these, we're just going to pop them onto a pan here. So I have a... Um, turn that a little hotter. I have a uh, non-stick sheet here, so you could use baking parchment, parchment or a non-stick sheet. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the burgers start to fall apart. Don't worry about that. Once they go in the oven, they'll all come together nicely. OK. OK, so we're going to pop these in the oven. They're only going to take about five to seven minutes. Because you've, you've cooked a good bit off exactly. them. Exactly, yeah. and the oven's up at 200 mm. there. So then we're going to get our pan here. And we're going to put in another little bit of coconut oil. And what? It, so you're going to put the kale in I'm here? I'm going to put the kale in here. We're going to stir fry that for a minute. And I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice onto that because that will stop it going brown. So oh, keep okay. a nice vibrant green colour of your kale. I love kale, I must admit. And it's so easy to... It's so good for you and so easy to put into many dishes. It is. And it's great that it's Irish and we have it in season at the moment. So we've got our pepper and salt in there, and I'm going to put a little bit of uh, chilli flakes in as well. OK. And then we're going to pop in our fennel. So I've just thinly sliced the fennel. Mm. So you just basically stir-fry this off for how long? About four minutes, and I pop a lid on it. helps kind of steam-fry it. OK. So while that's cooking, the vegetables are cooking, and now we're going to go and make our beetroot hummus. All right. So what I've done is I've roasted the beetroot. So you just wrap the beetroot in foil and roast it for about 40 minutes in the oven. And then when it comes out, you just peel it and top and tail it. So you've got lovely moist beetroot. If you buy the cooked beetroot in the shops, it doesn't work so well. It's not such a vibrant colour. So we're going to pop these in here. So we have our beetroot. We have our tahini, which is a sesame seed paste. Mm -hmm. 
There's lots of lots of people are using this now, aren't they? Yeah, it's um, it's calcium protein. You know, it's 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 really really quite nice. And that was our garlic. Then we have some more cumin to give it a bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. We're adding in some apple cider vinegar. So I make my own apple cider vinegar, but if you don't and you're going to buy it, try and buy one that says with mother or unpasteurized. Okay. That's going to give you the good benefits for your gut health and some water. And you just and blitz pepper and salt, up. and we're going to blitz that up. This is lovely as a dip with vegetables or with crackers. And basically then, you have it here. Exactly. That's it so it comes yeah. into that. Yeah. So it comes out looking like this. And it's a beautiful, lovely red, vibrant colour. Right. OK, and also to get ready for, for plating it up, I have some um, pine nuts, which I've just popped in the oven for five minutes, so they're nice and lightly okay, toasted. OK, so we only have a minute left, so we need to start plating up. Perfect. That's almost done there, but I have one ready for you earlier. OK. So we have our kale and our fennel here. And we're taking our turkey burgers. Turkey out. burgers that great. I had finished earlier. So they're still lovely and juicy and moist. Mm. Mm, you like your turkey burgers, Mark? I do, actually, yeah, and I like turkey sausages as well. We have... Um, oh, yeah, turkey sausages. Yeah, they're, they're lovely, and you can have them with, um, with chorizo and chili. And yeah. I mean, the oh, you're putting that right on the top? On top, yeah. What's that now? This is the roast beetroot, the beetroot hummus. The, and the hummus. And now, we're going to we'll put that over a little bit of there. A bit of this. Look at that. That's incredibly and healthy. That's incredible. Some pine nuts, and there you go. Now, I'm going to put that down put that there beside there. you now. Look at that. Mmm. Tuck in here now. Because I love it when it's healthy, but still you're feeling like, oh, it's a burger, it's grand. <laughs> so you go to Patrick's Epo, you'd pay. Like, oh, I know. Cost you small burgers. I for know, that. and the colour is gorgeous. And the spices and the herbs really give it a nice lift, so there's lots and lots of flavour there. And there's the one thing about turkey, it'll take all of that on. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, that, no, that's all. Lovely. Nice. Great. Very nice. And a bit of kale as well. Yeah. I like kale. It's a real kick off those burgers. Yep. Yeah, and it's probably the bit of chili flakes in with the in with the kale. Yep. Well done. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very for that. much. Thank you.